What is up guys, Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. So guys, as you can tell from the thumbnail, I have my box from the Wizarding Trunk with their brand new box design, which I have to say I am absolutely loving. I love all the different owls on there. Definitely feels like the Owlry. So this is actually their second box in their magical themed lesson series. I honestly do not remember which magical lessons this box will be covering, so we'll find out soon. But for those who don't know, this is a Harry Potter subscription box and it is bi-monthly, which means it comes every two months but I'm actually a rep right now for the wizarding trunk so I do have a rep code which is in the description down below along with their website so you can use that code to save 10% off your very first box or you can use that in their shop where they have a lot of previous items from past boxes so you can use it there to save a little bit of money as well but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this so if you were interested keep watching and let's get into it sneak peek Ooh, we have a letter right on top. It says, Dear Witch or Wizard, greetings from the ministry. Enclosed you will find your license for independent wizarding travel, given that you have taken and completed the 12-week apparition course, received your certificate of completion, and paid all applicable fees. Your license has now been issued. The license may appear blank. However, please do not attempt to fill in any witch or wizard information other than your own. The parchment that this license is printed on has been spelled so that only the recipient can fill in their own personal information. This license gives you permission to travel from one location to another without traversing the space in between. Please keep in mind this license is only valid for a single wizarding travel. If you wish for other witches or wizards to travel with you, you must test and upgrade to a side along license. So apparently I will have my apparitions license in this box, but of course I do have two little kiddos. So if Eventually, I will have to upgrade to the side along license. So very cool. And as always, spoilers on the back. The lessons this box will be covering is transfiguration, flying, and apparition. But we will save that for last. Again, sneak peek, all you see is wormies. <laughs> and right on top, I see a purple envelope with a gold wax seal on the back. It is a bookmark from the Wizarding Trunk, but this is our actual license for independent wizard travel. We can actually put all of our information on here, name, date of birth, and sign it and everything. I'm such a big fan of being able to personalize Harry Potter items. So yes, I will definitely be filling this out. Next we have, it looks like a, um, beverage cozy and this is definitely for transfiguration because we can see a rat on here with ron's broken wand and we see the cup that ron tried to transfigure from a rat to a cup but still had the rat tail and this is what it looks like on just a cup this is just what i had on hand so yeah i really like this such a nice usable item i know i will definitely be using this quite a bit and next we have an enamel pin and it's kind of the exact same thing as the beverage cozy it is the cup that ron tried to transfigure from a rat to a cup but left the rat tail on there i honestly kind of wish instead of an enamel pin they would have done this as an actual like cup with a rat tail on there like that would have been such an amazing cup. But again, you guys know I love enamel pens, especially the ones from the Wizarding Trunk. And next we have a green pouch. Oh, now that is cool. Hold on, let me read the letter first. Honestly, how did you two manage to transfigure her brooch into a holder for a non-magical cellular telephone? Well, you two better figure out how to put it back right before she finds out. And before you ask, no, I am not doing it for you. Hermione. So it is like a pop socket for your cell phone, but it is Professor McGonagall's brooch. Like I have always wanted a replica of her actual brooch, but this is such an awesome way to make it a usable item that we can actually use every single day. Oh, that is so cool. I will definitely, definitely be taking the pop socket I have now off and putting this on. And next we have a brown box, which is actually really freaking heavy. Ooh, it, I do believe it is a candle. It says the pitch, fresh air, flying, sweet grass, and dandelion, inflammare candles, four ounce soy. Ooh, now this is nice. So it's like blue with some sparkles in there and it's a wood wick burning candle. 
Ooh, I'm definitely picking up the scent of grass, which I love the smell of freshly mowed grass. I know that's a little weird, but this smells amazing. And next we have a, another brown box, which is also really heavy. Ooh, it's a potion. Oh, now this is awesome. And this was from Pure Blood Apothecary, Dittany, a powerful healing herb used in many healing potions. This herb can be consumed raw, but it is not nearly as effective as when used in potion making. We have a really cool wax seal with a D on the top. I know I said in my previous unboxing that I've really been liking like the bigger bottles with some of that extra detail. And a lot of you guys had said in the comments that you prefer the more authentic looking potions instead of the ones with like all of the extra details and I honestly feel like this kind of has the perfect blend of both. It has some of the extra details that I like but it's still very authentic looking to the Wizarding World. I definitely feel like Severus Snape could have brewed this himself. I absolutely love this. Love, love, love. And next we have a zipper pouch that says do-it-yourself broomstick service kit. That is awesome. Again, such a nice usable item. I will definitely be putting some of my like colored pencils and stuff in here, but it also has some stuff in here. Ooh, okay. So we have a little notepad that says Whithorn's do-it-yourself broomstick servicing kit notes volume one so it's just a little notepad that you can write notes on very cool and we have a tin here that says Whithorn's high quality broomstick polish do it yourself broom care and maintenance four ounce tin and on the back it says broom polish detox face soap from alchemy for the skin and it has the ingredients on there so yeah, it is actually soap in there. I have to say, this is a first for me. I've never gotten face soap in a tin. It doesn't look like it comes out, so I'm not quite sure how you would use it. Maybe just get it wet and like rub your fingers on there. I, I honestly don't know. I will definitely give this a try. And last in our zipper pouch is a little brown pouch. Oh, I think it's like a keychain because it came with a little ring here but it's like a little metal coin almost that says exclusive broomstick servicing kit. And then it has like a compass design on there with a broomstick. Now you guys know keychains aren't really my favorite item to get anymore in boxes just because we have gotten so many. Um, but I actually really, really like the design of this. So I probably will end up putting this on my key ring with all of my other ones. Next we have an art print. Let me take it out so it doesn't glare against my lights. So this is the art print. It is a transfiguration lesson art print. And I do believe this is the exact design that Professor McGonagall had on her chalkboard from the first movie. So I love the reference to the movies. To be honest though, it's not my favorite art print. It kind of has a faded look to it, which I do believe it was probably on purpose to have it look like it was actually chalk on a chalkboard. But yeah, just not my favorite. And last but certainly not least, we have our exclusive book cover from Danny. Oh, you guys, I'm already loving it. Okay. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. So this is the complete guide to transfiguration, spells, switching, changing and charms. I'm loving the gold foiling and how it's kind of even a different color this time. And it has the same design on the back as the first one. That is just gorgeous. There are no other words. Like this is just gorgeous. Oh, I love it. Love it. I cannot wait to have all seven on a book and displayed because you know I'm going to be displaying these. But guys, that was everything in the box. Let's take a quick look at the spoiler card. So we had 12 items overall, the Transfiguration book cover. This is the second of the seven exclusive book covers in the series created for us by Danny at Wizarding Workshop. Make sure to subscribe to ensure that you collect the complete series. Number two was the reusable coffee sleeve designed for us by JP Mistlecrow. This reusable coffee sleeve is great for your travel mugs and coffees from your favorite coffee shop. You never have to use a disposable coffee sleeve again. That was a um, Wizarding Trunk exclusive. 
exclusive. Number three was the Rat Goblet Pen, a Wizarding Trunk exclusive. Number four was the Transfigured Brooch Phone Holder, a Wizarding Trunk exclusive. Number five was the Transfiguration Lesson Print, created for us by J.P. Mistlecrow. Number six was the Independent Wizarding Travel Wood Mark, which was also a Wizarding Trunk exclusive. Number seven was the Ditsany Leaves Bottle, a Wizarding Trunk exclusive. Number eight, which was the Pitch, which was the Candle. Number nine, the Do-It-Yourself Broomstick Service Kit Pencil Case, a Wizarding Trunk exclusive. Number 10 was the Broomstick Servicing Kit Notepad, a Wizarding Trunk exclusive. Number 11 was the Broomstick Servicing Kit Clip-On Compass. This compass clips easily onto your broomstick or your keys, a Wizarding Trunk exclusive. And number 12 was the High Quality Broomstick Polish. This tin was designed in-house and the Detox Face Wash was created for us by Alchemy for the Skin. Finish using the face wash, display the tin on your flying shelves. And so again, almost every single item was a Wizarding Trunk exclusive. That is the reason you get subscription boxes. It's so you can get items that you can get nowhere else. But as always, you guys will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. Well, this goes without saying, the book cover was my absolute favorite item. But I also really loved the Beverage Cozy McGonagall's Brooch Phone Holder. And the potion, again, I'm loving the bigger bottles. My least favorite item, I think, would have to be the art print. But as always, this box was absolutely amazing. They definitely gave us a lot of nice, usable items. And I will say, for those of you who do not like a lot of paper replicas, the Wizarding Trunk is definitely the box for you. I feel like they are really great about trying to include items that we can either use or display. So yeah, I definitely thought this was a great box, as always, from the Wizarding Trunk. But I would definitely love to hear what you guys thought in the comments down below and as always thank you guys so much for watching if you liked this video give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel hey welcome feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to join my small community of harry potter lovers and bookworms and i will see y'all next time bye guys <laughs>